this is what we've done. We've done the G, we've done the O and the C. So now we have some review here. Ah, ah, which one is olive? Ah, what is this? Gas, g, g. So here she's putting capital initial, you know, capital letters, uppercase. Here she's putting lowercase letters. So your child can differentiate which one's capital, which one's lowercase. It doesn't, um, you know, they're learning it together. K for coat, g for goat. Here we have um, gate. Can't say fence because we haven't learned F yet. So we have g for gate. We have um, a for ox. See if your child remembers oxen, which is two. K for castle. K for comb. Say the say the name. A uh, octopus. And then have your child circle the letter that goes with it. Camel. Ostrich and girl. This is um, fun sequencing. What happens first? The girl is blowing the balloon. The girl pops the balloon. What happens first? First, you blow up the balloon. Here, you dial a phone number, old fashioned way. <laughs> when my kids were in kindergarten, that's what the phones looked like. Now the girl is on the phone talking. What happens first? She dials a number. So this is really special that Pleasant included the um, special needs kids. I worked with several students in their wheelchairs. And when they see this, it makes them feel apart. They're not isolated. And her artist again, Olivia Cole. Thank you, Olivia. And we have what happened first. Oh, the glass is falling. What happens when it falls? It breaks. Here, the little boy is sweeping the broken glass. What happened first? And then we circle the glass falls and breaks. So someone's uh, turning the key on and then they're driving. What happens first? You turn the key on. And you can create your own first and last. What about getting ready for bed, putting your pajamas on, jumping in bed? Um, this is also, you can give um, an instruction, what happens second? So when they learn first, they're gonna blow out the candles. Second, they're gonna eat the cake. What happens second? First, they build the birdhouse, second, the birds are gonna go in it. What happens second? First is this, second will be carving the pumpkin. Um, first is your tricycle, second is a big boy bike. First is picking the grapes, so second is eating the grapes. And then first is planting, so second is picking the flowers. Isn't that neat how she introduces these patterns? So here we have, now every book is different. I have to keep telling you, every book is amazing. G, what goes with G? Gate. K, caterpillar. A, ox. What goes with K? Cane. What go and see if your child knows what the words are. This is vocabulary development. Um, octopus, corn, grapes. What goes with guh? Does olive go with guh? Does carrot go with guh? Does girl go with guh? So we're going to circle girl. Here's another great introduction with G. Here we have bag. G is at the end of the word. So this is another hierarchy of learning to read that the G is at the beginning and it's also at the end. Get your little scissors out for your child. If the picture ends with a G, they can put the picture, cut it out and glue it here. Log, cut it out, 